right, we're starting the goat barn project. It's gonna be so nice. My friend Mike is gonna help me with the construction here so it goes a little bit faster. Danelle's gonna keep us fed while we're going. We'll see how much we can get done. The first part is laying out the foundation, pouring some concrete for the posts and getting it all ready to go. All right, we've done a bunch, so let's go eat. I've only got one orange from my Trovita orange tree. Last year I got two, so we're kind of moving down in the world. This tree is actually pretty small and fairly new, so I decided to add a few more citrus trees to the front yard, so I'm gonna show you that real quick. I planted a Washington navel, a Meyer lemon, and uh, Mineola tangelo. So hopefully we'll have even more citrus added to this other orange tree. <laughs> I know the front yard orchard is hard to see from the aerial shot. There's actually a lot packed in here in this front yard. Let me show you. We've got four grapevines, one, two, three fig trees, one, two mulberries, an almond, two peaches, apricot, and a blackberry bush. A lot of them are dormant right now, but the oranges, all the citrus is in season. So I'm gonna have to pick from my mom's tree for now, but pretty soon we're gonna have our own citrus here on the farm. While the men are eating and the kids are sleeping, I'm gonna show you guys the barn plants. Get excited, it's amazing. Okay guys, here is the big goat barn plan. We've got this back area, we built it a few years ago and this year's rain convinced us, you guys, we need a good solid goat shelter. One of the biggest things that I worry about is right after our mamas deliver their babies that we'll have a coyote problem around that time. And so I wanna make sure that the babies are really locked up safe along with the mamas. And then we can also use these pens for shelter from the rain. It doesn't look that big, but I think it's gonna give us just enough, enough space for what we need. So here's what we're gonna do. We're basically gonna build a structure that has three separate parts. So we're gonna have three separate pens, just big enough for the mamas to deliver and stay with their babies for a couple weeks. I feel like this is perfect for the birthing situation. And then we're gonna have these barn sliding doors so that we can leave them open if we want to and the goats can go in for shelter, um, you know, if it's raining or something like that. If the mamas are delivering, we can lock them up and keep them safe. And then finally, there will be a nice big front porch on it. So then that way, if we do need to keep the doors closed, then the other goats that are in this area can still have shelter from the rain. So I think it'll work out pretty well. I can't wait to see this thing built. It's so nice to have the chicken coop done, the milking station done, feeding station, and now the goat barn. <laughs> Okay guys, the weirdest thing is happening right now. Luna is super mad at something. Over there, she keeps like snorting. She keeps like snorting at something and all the other goats are like behind her, like protecting her. <laughs> I don't know, they're, they're like a pack. Kevin's working on the goat barn over there with our friend Mike. And I don't know what they're looking at, but they're all looking over here like, <laughs> There she goes. I don't know why she does that. Please. Here comes the train. They don't scare whatever they're Let, looking at away. Yeah, let's see if the train does does anything to them. <laughs> they don't care about the train. All right, Luna's on alert, so we've got to we've got to investigate. We're gonna head over there. Where is she? <laughs> 
Right. They, I don't know. It's like they see something. Come on, Lana, come on. Let's go over here and see. You got <laughs> I don't know what's freaking them out over here, dog. There's nothing in the canal. No dogs over there? There's no dog over here. We should try and bring her over here and see what she does. Maybe she saw a dog in the yard and then the... It's fine, Luna. <laughs> see, why does she sneeze? Maybe she's having allergies. Well, we don't see anything, so I have no idea why Luna's acting like this. She's the guard back. goat. I think that they've all... It's fine. Luna, oh, look. Like the second Luna like goes away, they all they're all kind of like oh. Okay. They all learn that it's fine. You guys are fine. Doors That's a great shot. Look, they're all together. Oh Luna. <laughs> Okay, we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Okay, Kevin, so when will it be done? It will be done probably next week. Really? That's oh. it? I don't know, we have a lot of little details. Oh yeah, we're figuring out a couple things on the siding because you have to know if we want to go outside the post or right in the middle of the post. So we got to figure a couple things out. Yeah, we've been looking at barns online and trying to figure out what other people do. So basically, we've got to do the backs the back side and then the two Side. sides over here and then we've got to once we do that we're gonna then we're gonna create the different partitions stalls stalls yeah, yeah. Really cool. so we've just got to figure out I don't know the best way to do it we kind of think about it as we go <laughs> yeah. but it's gonna be cool with bars and then sliding doors yeah we're gonna make it look really fancy so I want it to look like a horse barn style mm -hmm. but uh, for goats and you can't ever find anything that works for that online everything is really big because it's made for horses mm -hmm. so we've got to kind of build things ourselves but I think Kevin can do it. I think his craftiness. Got my he can welder do it. now, so we can finally do metal stuff. Yeah. Thanks for keeping us company while we work. So much happier when we're by you, huh? So Kevin and I just got back from a date, and we <laughs> we've been noticing the ghosts have been acting weird today, right? We think mm -hmm. we figured it out. We think that they're afraid of the new goat barn. <laughs> that we're building because it's loud and hammers, I guess. Let's, let me show you what they're doing. They're all sleeping over here and they refuse to go. <laughs> they refuse oh, to man. go anywhere over by the goat barn. All of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got Willow and Penny sleeping together, Doris, Tilly, and Fern, and then Luna and Stella. <laughs> Guys, you gotta like the goat barn. We're making it for you. They'll like it eventually. Danelle needs to have a structure on every single inch of <laughs> yep. that side of the property. I do. It's just not complete until we have something on every inch. Yeah, show that with an aerial view. Every inch <laughs> of that side. Oh, you've okay. got a little friend. How are you doing? There's the pig, the only one that's not afraid. Oh yeah. She's not afraid of the goat barn. Luna, you don't need to be afraid of it. Oh my gosh, stop fighting. Okay, okay, sorry. Ah! <clears throat> oh. We're gonna go do the chores at night, even though it's nothing. Uh, it's just a few little things, and yeah. I'm gonna even come help you. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. It's, it's really scary to look up at the trees to have an owl there. I know. All right, we don't do any milking at night, but the kids are gonna feed the goats. Are you guys still afraid of the goat barn? Huh? Willow? But it looks cool! Wow! Alright, well, Lydia's bringing the first scoop of pellets. Gotta go fast! Watch out, Eden! There you go. They always like to uh, hop up here. I think lately they've been hopping up here and then on top of yeah. this 
goat area. Mango is up there. Oh, is she already up there? There she is. There she is. She is already up there. See? It's a good place for them because it keeps yeah. them away from predators. Don't you guys love our cool fountain thing that Ethan and Dad built? Yeah. It looks so cool. Like Moving up in the world. All right, what do you guys give Hermione? Nothing. She kind of already had a bunch of food yeah. today. She's not being loud right now, so she's good. Yeah, I think she probably has a stomach ache from all the food she ate today. Yeah. All right, guys, everybody's eating their dinner. Let's see if you guys can say the names of everybody as fast as I do. Penny, Fern, Tilly, Luna, Stella, Willow, and... Doris. I can say I'm really fast. <laughs> okay. I kind of have to look it on though. Okay. okay. Go fast. Okay. Penny, Fern, Tilly, Luna, Stella, Willow, Doris. <laughs> I couldn't see Doris. That was my fault. All right. Good night. Bunch of fluffy butts. Your belly. Oh. And Hermione. Guys, look how cute. Best buddies.